So friends, uh, today I am back with very confusing subject. Uh, that subject is how to connect your lightning arrestor or surge arrestor with earthing mat in the substation. The people are confused. I usually talk about separate earthing or grounding for lightning or surge arrestor in the substation. It is very important to mention here that there are three important documents to refer here. The first is your IS3043, second is CA regulation clause 74 that is about safety and electric supply regulation 2010 and third important document is IEEE 80. If you go through all these three important document or even you refer the CBIP manual 339, four document in fact, it is clearly mentioned that LA, LA should be connected to ground it with a one dedicated ground electrode, road electrode and that should be state, there should not be any bend so that the impedance of that lead that is connected to road is not enhancing any more resistance in the path of discharge of lightning current and that dedicated earth further to be connected to the existing earth mat it means the myth of connection of your lightning arrestor or surge arrestor with a dedicated earth in an isolation way is totally wrong. We have to give one dedicated earth electrode for each lightning or surge arrestor, but at the same time that must be connected to the existing earth mat and that to be kept in mind and you can refer any of the four documents I have already mentioned IS3043, IEEE 80, CA Regulation Safety Regulation 2010 and CBIP Manual 339 for more reference. I hope it will clear all the doubts about earthing of lightning arrestor or surge arrestor. Thank you sir. Thank you everyone. Thank you everyone for your support. Thank you sir.